In this video, I'll show you how to use the slot tool. It's a really handy tool for several different things. Uh, so I've already got this block. I want to put a slot in there. So I'll start a sketch on that surface. And normally you'll see this rectangle icon. If you click down below the rectangle icon, you'll see slot. Now the one you want to use is center to center slot. And basically draw a line and that's going to be the length of the slot. You can input the length now or do it later with a dimension. I'm just going to do it later. Click the end of the line and then move your mouse and you'll see uh, this will represent the diameter of the slot. So again, you can you could input that value right now or you can input it later with a dimension. So I went and inputted that one and now I'm going to call out some dimensions for the length of this. For the length and also the location. And typically what you're going to do is dimension off of the center lines. If you think about the machinist that needs to make that, that's the information they're looking for is the location of that center line. So it's fully constrained. I'll finish the sketch and I'm going to do an extrude. I want to do a cut and I want to do it all the way through the part. So all the way through, make sure Boolean is set to cut, say OK. And you'll see really easy way to put a slot and that shows up as this extrusion here if you wanted to edit it right click edit the sketch if you wanted to change the length or if you wanted to change the radius even you could do that and it'll update on the part so that's a great way for making an internal slot but you can also use that command to create a shape. So I'll start a new sketch. And again, typically you're going to see the rectangle tool. I'm going to open the slot tool, use center to center. I'm going to put it on the origin here. Same thing, I'll just sketch the length of it and then pull it out for some kind of radius. And let me put some numbers on here. And this particular, let's see if I can uh, also I'm going to try that. There we go. So put it on the origin. Uh, this particular part I'm going to make, I'm going to use this slot tool again. This radius is going to be 0.5 this time. Let's pull that dimension back there. So it's all black, so we know it's fully constrained. I'll finish the sketch. Use my extrude tool. And that's supposed to be a half inch thick. So you can see you can create an object. It doesn't have to be the slot tool is not reserved for cutting holes and things. You can use it to create an object like this and then you can go from there in terms of sketching now <clears throat> if I want to cut out a chunk there an easy way to do it is just use a rectangle tool and just make sure you put enough constraints on it and that's all I really need because I'm going to remove that amount of material. Again, I'll use, do a cut, go all the way through, and I remove the material there.
and there's your shape. So it all started out with a slot.